The woman who has just been crowned Miss Japan 2024 is not Japanese, marking a significant shift in the view of who is Japanese and the internet is debating about it. Ukrainian born model crowned Miss Japan sparks national identity debate. Woo! This coming soon tonight. Um, we got to talk about it, Andrew, because uh, a Ukrainian born Miss Japan rekindles an old question. What does it mean to be Japanese? Of course, Andrew, the Internet was split. Some people were disagreeing with it. Some people were agreeing with it. Other people were in the middle. The conversation went all over the place. So make sure you like, subscribe and turn on your notifications. But you know what? There is not debate about. Oh, that small sauce is almost sold out. It is nearly almost sold out. I repeat, it's almost sold out. So get yours now. Um, David, what is the general consensus from the internet about this story? Because I would you say see this Ukrainian woman, she won Miss Japan. She's not of traditional Japanese blood, but she identifies as Japanese. She was raised in Japan since five years old. I believe her parents were both Ukrainian, moved to Japan. Her parents mm. separated. Her mom remarried a Japanese guy, mm. which made her extra Japanese, so her Jap J Japanese uh, cultural knowledge, her language fluency is very high because with the Japanese right, stepfather, right, 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 right? right? So essentially got raised in a Japanese family in Japan. Um, now she's 21, 16 years old. She considers herself Japanese. So she won, but it was kind of controversial with the fan base because the organizer of Miss Japan said, she is more Japanese than we are. Oh, so you think that statement kind of triggered people. Also, she doubled down uh, Miss Japan herself. She says... I am Japanese, and I'm finally recognized as Japanese, but I always felt Japanese. Right. So, all right, let's just get into our quick thoughts, Andrew. Do you care about beauty pageants? Obviously, would you agree, and this was a lot of comments on the internet, the beauty pageants seem to have a very political agenda more than they used to have, because perhaps in the past, beauty pageants were just about, like, who's the hottest, mixed with a little bit of smarts and accomplishments. And nowadays, it's all about saying something about the world. Let me tell you this. 2015, Ariana Miyamoto. She is half black American and half Japanese. She won Miss Japan. She speaks Japanese fluently, is now married to a Hong Kong guy. So I'm saying a non-Japanese person or a... Well, I guess she's half, half black, half Japanese. But obviously, she looks wise, does look less Japanese, but I'm saying, I guess it's controversial because she's the, this Ukrainian girl is the first fully non-Japanese blooded person to win Miss Japan. But I'm saying this, well, don't Asians want to represent America at some point? It's the same concept. Like, but I isn't it different because Japan is not an immigrant country on the citizen side? It's 98% but, Yamamoto Japanese, Yamato, I'm sorry. 2% I knew a real kid. Yeah, but what if Japan is trying to send a message? Because, David, in 2015, a black, half black, half Japanese woman. Hafu. Hafu wins Miss Japan. You know what happens after 2015? Naomi Osaka and Roy Hachimura blow up. Right. So who knows? Maybe it could start a trend. Maybe there's a trend it, of is Ukrainian. Is this Japan just trying to be trendy? Or, or, I mean, not trendy in the sense of, like, in a gimmick sense, but just trying to be... You know how Japan really always been on something different yeah, but than the rest of Asia? Like, what? I don't understand why people ways. are mad. This is the thing I'm weirded out about. Why are people mad for Japan? Like, this whole time we're talking about, oh, Japan's so throwback, so patriarchal. Oh, my gosh. The gender roles are so old. Oh, my gosh. They're so racist. Oh, such a homogenous country. People say that about Japan all the time. And here they are trying to raise up a Ukrainian girl as Miss Japan that can represent Japan in some way. And then everybody's mad. I'm like, I don't know. It's pretty progressive. Japan's trying to change their ways now. I don't know. I agree with you that as Asian Americans, if we were to consider Japan and the U.S. very similar, and they, obviously they have very close ties post-World War II, yeah. I would say that we should understand Carolina Shino's situation. Yeah. Because we come to America, people don't think we look like Americans, and then we like adopt the customs and we want to just be accepted like everybody think else, right? First, or have the same windows of opportunity. Yeah, think of when the first, like, Asian girl was crowned Miss whatever state or Miss America. I'm sure that I think there's been Asian winners, right? So they're finally American. It means something, right? Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to think like a traditional Japanese person on this one, but I could understand their right to feel how they want to feel. Mm. Anyway, let's just get into the comment section. Somebody said, she's full white. I was following her on Instagram and I thought she was half this whole time. How much of it is that she does kind of 
look a little Asian because Eastern European women, they can have smaller eyes sure, sure. because there may be more influence. I don't know. They just look more Asian. I, I feel mean, like Eastern European. I wouldn't say she looks super Asian. Let's be honest. I Even if you made me guess, if I just saw a picture of her not knowing the context, I wouldn't think she's any Asian. Like I wouldn't predict it. So to me... I think it more brings up this question of transracial because she says she's Japanese. She says she is, but she's not of Japanese blood, but she is of Japanese nationality and Japanese culture. Raised in a Japanese family. But that's the same as me saying, hey, I'm American just like anybody else. And they're like, well, but it's parents- different because America was an immigrant country to begin with, right? Obviously, it belongs to well, belong I'll to tell you this. the Native Americans. I'll tell you this Japanese need some immigrants. And they need to start picking which immigrants they and, want. And I think that that's what the statement was that the pageant organizers were trying to say, right? Maybe. maybe. I, I think so. I think they were trying to say something about the world. And I don't, I think beauty pageants are a low impact. I mean, like a low stakes, high impact way to say something. Yeah, because beauty pageants, they don't really mean anything, but you just get a bunch of hot girls together and then you pick one and then everybody's got to talk about it. So yes, it is a... It is news, I guess. Uh, kudos to Japan. Always one step ahead in many innovative ideas. Somebody said now anime and manga is actually represented because they've been drawing those people to look white for quite some time. That's and somebody just said, this is the cost of being a puppet to the USA. Could a Japanese woman know. that wasn't born in Ukraine win Miss Ukraine? Would that be acceptable? Hmm. And why do you, I mean, we're talking about arguments going back and forth in the comments section of, of so many articles and videos. Uh, 20, 30. Why does every country have to behave the same? Why does every country have to behave the same? I don't understand. Like, I do get the argument when people are like, well, oh, how can we let so many Chinese immigrants through, but they don't, China doesn't let as many American immigrants through. Or, oh, how come a, a Ukrainian girl can win Miss Japan, but a Japanese girl would never win Miss Ukraine? I wouldn't say never, but yeah, obviously the more developed of a country you are and the more you also need immigrants and the more like progressive you are as a nation the more likely you're going to let different people in to represent And, and more that other people are going to want to come in and assimilate to your society yeah, as well, right? Wow. Japan, by all means, by all analytics, you could say it's number one or number two only to the U.S. in the world. Yeah. I mean, think of how many people in the American army are not even technically American yet. Like they don't, people, they don't even, they're not even American passports. They're not even citizens yet, and they're fighting for our country, so... Right. Somebody just said all beauty pageants are rigged nowadays. It's either rigged by rich families, rigged by sponsors, or rigged by essentially political agendas. Mm. Uh, we already addressed that. Like I said, it's not a bad place to say something, though. That I think the internet comments are just like, you either agree with what the pageant like controller is trying to say, or you disagree with it. But I don't think anybody really takes beauty pageants that serious. Because like... Oh, yeah. Was it better when it was just about being hot? What, well, David, David, what's the number one way to get people to hear your message? If you have a message. Make a splash. Have a hot girl say it. That's Easy. A point. Um, somebody said all their rich countries are going to have to give up their identity for poor countries. In this case, it's interesting, though, because she's from a white-looking country. Poor, poor country, country yeah. versus a Asian looking rich country. Uh, that yeah. that is that does make it interesting though. Uh, somebody said to add insult to injury, she's very average looking too. Why didn't she, they pick an even hotter Ukrainian girl? Some people are saying yes, it's because they want obviously to drum up political support for Ukraine right now globally. Maybe I don't know, man. I, don't I mean, even, I, think I don't know mean, if that's the reason. Maybe that was a side reason, possibly. Yeah. Um. Somebody said you don't even have to be a biological female to win the Miss Universe pageant, so this should be acceptable. If that is, uh, yeah. Uh, there's there was a bunch of discussion about oh she only won because she has the most westernized features, and Japanese tend to idolize westernized features. I don't think that's true. I think this comments off. I think but they do, I, though. I disagree with this a lot, though. I don't think that's the reason why she You won. don't think that, but I'm saying- I don't think is, they're like, oh, this uh, Carolyn has uh, the biggest eyes uh, and the biggest nose, so we must have her represent Japan, and but, that's how people win. But do you agree that that's what they want from their models? In general, that's why there's a lot of pressure on models- to get bigger eyes and, uh, I guess, what, fake noses in Asia. Dude, there's a lot of different types of models out there nowadays. You guys know. Come on. They're not, they don't all look the same. Um, some people were saying Iwata, who set up the uh, 
pageant saying she is more Japanese than we are was a controversial statement. Uh, I think what she means is that she's had to proactively try harder because she was born into another culture to try to become something. I mean, if- anytime you have to proactively try to become something in a cognizant <clears throat> way, it's different than somebody who's just like organically developing that one way inherently. I, you know, to wrap this all up, David, I think this should be a very inspiring story for any otaku out there. For all those weebs and otakus out there that love Japanese culture, this should be inspiring because you can be Japanese now. It is, there is an actual pathway for non-Japanese blooded people to be seen and viewed as Japanese or to be recognized as Japanese by the mainstream. So, well, but, but that doesn't mean that the mainstream agrees with it no. on a, like a macro internet distribution. Well, you should be inspired by this story if you love Japanese culture. Hey, there's a window. There's a pathway for you to be Japanese. Possibly. Right. I mean, and who knows? Maybe this is like an indication of what their immigration patterns are going to be like in the future because uh, nobody knows what's going to happen. Like I said, man, after the black girl All won right. it, the half black and half Japanese girl in 2015, Naomi Osaka, Roy Hachimura, uh, that yeah. was on trend. Ultimately, I'll say this. I respect everybody's opinion. Everybody's going to have different opinions on this. I happen to think this is a trivial issue, but I could see people drawing more serious conclusions from it. But at the end of the day, I feel like if we are to look at Japan like we look at America, we have to understand her situation, Carolina Shino's situation. Because that's the situation we somewhat are in. Possibly even more so the Asians to Europe, obviously more than America, because you could argue the whole like precedent of America is completely different yeah. fundamentally. Japanese immigration is just where like American immigration was in like the 1800s. So they just got a ways to go though, but they're going to let more immigrants in eventually. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. Uh, interesting discussion. It's not that serious, but some people clearly have some fired up feelings about it. Let us know what you think in the comment section below until next time we hop out boys. We out. Peace. Peace.